we should take a moment to honor our veterans because of the sacrifice that they made to protect the freedoms that we have in our country. Many of them have gone through a lot of training and have served overseas and have really worked hard to make sure that our home front is very well taken care of from being away from their families to surviving through some very serious uh, weather um, and obviously some very traumatic events. Um, it is important for us to recognize their hard work and what they have done to help protect us here at home. I think it is important for us to recognize the sacrifices that other people make um, and to express gratitude and offer um, symbolic tokens of gratitude um, towards those. So maybe it's a letter. Um, if you're of age, then maybe buying them a drink if, you know, if they're open to that whatever um, but I think an important aspect of that is keeping everything in its proper place so honoring our veterans is important but keeping first things first is even more important so always God at the center and God being the context for everything um, and then respecting those familial relationships that really build up our society, you know. Um, but given all that, honoring our veterans is a good thing. Just thanking him for his service is, in my book, sufficient. When I first came back from Vietnam, people didn't thank us for our service. And the fact that they do now is very moving to me. I would like to say a special shout out to my husband, Jeff, um, and also to um, a few of my grandparents who also served in the military, um, Air Force, Army, and the Marines. And I'd like to give a shout out to my husband's father who served, uh, Paul Rayburn, and to my late father who also served, uh, Frank Rubachik. Howdy, I want to send a huge thank you to all our veterans. Words cannot express the gratitude in my heart for the many sacrifices you have made to honor and protect our country and our freedoms. I also want to send a thank you to the veterans that are in my family and also to my dad, a World War II veteran who passed away this year. Dad, may you rest in peace. God bless you to all our veterans. Thank you. We should honor our veterans because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them. They have defended our country and just given their lives for us. And the veteran that I would like to honor today is my brother-in-law, Glenn Wood. He served two terms and two tours, excuse me, in Vietnam, and he was just a very brave man. I would like to honor my Papa Sid. Um, he jumped out of airplanes uh, during World War II. He fought in the Battle of the Bulge and the Battle of Bastogne. Why I want to honor him is because he gave me a greater freedom that I could never possess without his help. I truly look up to him every day and I hope to be and aspire to be him one day. to the veterans and my grandfather, Greg Cleveland. Our veterans have done more than we could ever imagine, even just in our own families. I would like to honor my grandfather, Kevin O'Neill, Army. He served in the Vietnam War, and if he had to go away when my mother was born, but if he hadn't done that, I wouldn't even have my name because it would be my mother. So these kind of things just impact from generation to generation on as far back as we can think. I'd like to honor both my Uncle Mike and my Uncle Clint, who have both served overseas in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'd also like to honor my great-grandpa, my grandpa, and my other uncle. I think we should honor our veterans because they've done so much for our country and have sacrificed so much. 
A veteran that has inspired me is uh, my godfather, Colin Davis. He hasn't been there a whole lot throughout my life, but he's definitely left a huge impact. I would like to honor my dad, who served in the Army for 27 years, and my two older twin brothers, who are in the Army and the Marines.